okay guys so now let's solve this uh, question this is also easier and like all the age related problem this is also uh, very very much uh, relatable and very basic so let's let's find it a man is 24 years older than his son in two years his age will be twice the age of his son the percent age of his son so that's the question in all these age related problem what is the first thing ask yourself and that thing is to uh, to assume the age of somebody now whose age will assume always we try to assume the age of uh, the the youngest person in the family and in this case the youngest person is the son so let's assume the age of the son so so age of the son here let's assume is it it is to be uh, to be x now a man 24 years older than his son right so 24 years older so the age of the man present age of the man obviously we must write the present present term here present age of the son is x years so the present so the present age of the father here will be 24 years older so x plus 24 will be the age of his father in two years his age will be twice right so in this case he's mean the father right age will be twice the age of his son so so let's let's assume so what is the equation now let's find the equation because once we get the assumption now we need to find the equation that that's what the systemic approach to solve the age related problems so first we know age of the son is x so his age will be twice the age of his son right so his age and his age is to the x plus 24 this it will be twice the age of his son so his son says is x so it will be twice x right right so his age will be the twice the age of his son so so not x so there is a problem one minute so so in this case what we need to know that that after 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 in two years what is telling in two years his age will be the twice of age his son so here comes the most important and critical point many of the students i found do this thing in this problem but i am doing something different and i'll be telling you what why they miss why they mistreat this formula and mistake this part so in this case what we know in this case i must put in two years the age of the father will be so this is the present age now after this two years the father father will age this and the son will age this right so if this is the father age and it, this is the son age after two years and then only his age will be twice than the age of his son so this is for the son's age this is for the father this is the correct thing to do this is the wrong thing to do because people think that if this is the present age and simply they put the equation but what is the question in two years so after two years father will age two years more son will also age two years more so you need to add plus two to put it into the equation that is the most important point here so once you put this thing into the equation then we go x plus 24 plus 2 equals to 2x plus 4 now if this is the case then what we know x so let's let's put let's so if this is the 2x so let's put this x into that side so it will be x equals to it will be 26 plus 4 uh, minus 4 so it will be 22 so x equals to 22 so what is the present of, uh, of his son so we know the percentage of his son is x years so the value of x will be the present of uh, his son present age of his son so here it is the uh, 22 years so that is the present age of his son so option d is the correct answer so you know this is the point that everybody most of the students try to make the mistake so this is wrong this is the right thing okay so that's it and i hope that's helpful guys thank you